the Church of Emacs. I bless your computer, my child. <laughs> Although I think that computer needs an exorcism. <laughs> Emacs started out as a program, an extensible text editor that I wrote, that was extended so much over the years that it became a way of life for many users because they could do all their computing without ever exiting Emacs. And then it became a church with the launch of the news group old.religion.emacs. <clears throat> In the church of Emacs, we have a great schism between several versions of Emacs, and we also have saints, but fortunately no gods. Instead of gods, we adore the one true editor, Emacs. <laughs> to be a member of the Church of Emacs, you must recite the confession of the faith. You must say, there is no system but GNU, and Linux is one of its kernels. <laughs> then if you become a real expert, you can celebrate that with our ceremony, the Fubar Mitzvah, in which you chant a portion of our sacred scripture. That is to say, the system source. <laughs> In the Church of Emacs, we have eliminated the priesthood of technology because anyone is welcome to read our sacred scriptures. We also have the cult of the Virgin of Emacs, which means anyone that has never used Emacs. And According to the Church of Emacs, offering the opportunity to lose Emacs virginity is a blessed act. <laughs> we also have the Emacs pilgrimage, which consists of invoking all the commands of Emacs in alphabetical order. There is a breakaway Tibetan sect which claims that it's sufficient to do this automatically under the control of the script. And they do this repetitively millions of times, but the mother church holds that to gain spiritual merit, you must type them by hand. The Church of Emacs has certain advantages compared with other churches I won't name. For instance, to be a saint in the Church of Emacs does not require celibacy, but it does require living a life of moral purity. You must exorcise whatever diabolical proprietary operating systems have possessed computers under your control or set up for your regular use, and then install a wholly free operating system, where wholly can be spelled in more than one way, and then use and install exclusively free software with and on the system. If you make this vow and you live by it, then you too will be a saint and you'll have the right to wear a halo if you can find one because they don't make them anymore. <laughs> there is a traditional rivalry between Emacs and the other editor, BI. So people sometimes ask whether in the Church of Emacs the use of BI is a sin. <laughs> it's true that BI, BI, BI is the editor of the beast. <laughs> but using a free implementation of BI is not a sin, it's a penance. A few years ago I went to China and some BI users proposed to get together and attack me. I was shocked, but apparently violence begins with BI. People sometimes ask whether my halo is really an old computer disk. This is no computer disk, this is my halo. But it was a computer disk in a previous existence. <laughs> <laughs>